Fixing What's Not Working by Dora Charre. The leaf elements that were there, I took that out. In fact, I didn't take that out on the video because my, again, my camera didn't quite work. Somebody called me and it shut off the video. So I covered it in pink and now I've decided that pink doesn't work either. It's not a nice color to put big elements right there. So I'm blocking that out and what I'm going to do is really lighten that area where I'm going to have bits of the pink showing through and bits of the white. But first I need to cover that whole area really well. Don't be afraid to change elements that don't work. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Here I'm spraying the paint while it's still wet. I let it sit there for a little while. In fact, I usually count to 20 and I wait till there's a little edge around the water droplet. So every water droplet is an area that's going to turn pink again. You're going to see the underneath layer. So here I put paper towel on top and I gently rub. I don't move the paper towel. And here, look, the pink is showing through again. So you can spray it again and do it again and you can get even more areas. And I want soft areas near the face. So I just take my finger, dip it in water and soften. And I can add paint if I want and just redo some of these areas. So I'm just repainting some of the areas, leaving some of the pink showing through. I think that adds a lot to this portrait. It's way better than it used to be. So now I'm going to add more collage. This pink isn't making it for me, so I'm going to collage some tissue paper with a design in it. This is tissue paper that is sometimes used for wrapping. Or you can buy it at the art supply store. When I first started buying this tissue paper, it was wrapping paper. And now it's become a design element that's very popular with a lot of collage painters. So I add the collage elements in more than one area. So that's a good spot for that same design. And there's a good spot for that design. So I've used this collage element three times now. And then I can decide if that works for me. I can add more grays. I can touch up and tweak this portrait for a long time. In fact, I do tweak it for a long time. I will keep adding things even after this video is over. Usually it takes me weeks and weeks to put a portrait together. I try to create elements that tell part of the story of the child. So this child loves books. I add pieces of text. This swirl that from the tissue paper in a way works really well because it tells part of the story too. It tells the part that she's really more of a dreamer than anything else. She loves climbing trees, she loves being outside, but she's a little bit of a dreamer. So it's really fun to tell the story in a way that people can subtly learn about your subject matter, about your portrait. So think about this when you're creating your own portrait, and I'll see you in the next section, where we're going to just look at the final product.